time at the London EV Show. It's day two and I'm here with Matt Spreadborg. He is the Head of Digital Infrastructure at Volvo Construction Vehicles. Are you having a good time, Matt? Absolutely. It's been a, it's been a good show and uh, there's been a lot of interest for our new uh, electric excavator here at the show and so that's been great. So the electric excavator, that's what's behind us? Yes, yes. We came out with this uh, at the beginning of the year, starting to deliver it here in the UK and 12 other markets in, 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 in Europe. And then we're going to launch it in a couple of weeks' time in North America. Amazing. So tell us about this amazing electric vehicle. So obviously it's a digger, guys. So how long can this run? Is it fully electric? It is fully electric, yes. Yeah. So it is, and we have this variant also in a diesel, diesel variant. And but this we have swapped out the engine to the, uh, to an electric engine, and we have two batteries in there, and it can run on a on a charge a full day, full days of work. So it can actually do a full day's work lifting things, you know, working on a construction site for like eight hours. Absolutely, absolutely, it can do a full day. And the, and the benefits, the big benefits with this is that it's uh, emission free. And when you're building in cities and you have targets in cities for emissions, then this is a very good alternative to what is out there with the with diesel variants. And another thing that you mentioned to me, which I found to be really interesting, was the noise. Because obviously noise pollution is not great for people's mental health. You know, obviously we've got air quality, but noise pollution is a really big thing. So tell me about the kind of noise that this makes. Yeah, the, the, the noise is, uh, we've taken out uh, almost all noise from the machine. So we have to design in noise instead so people can see that or hear that there is a machine around. And, and it's really one of the biggest benefits is the noise. And the noise came over from the diesel engine before that is completely gone. But there's no cooling system, so there's no fans uh, that uh, pick, picks up dirt, dirt and dust and also sound, noise from that. So uh, it's completely quiet. Wow, we, that to me is amazing. And also another thing that me and Matt discussed yesterday when I met him, because he was on the speakers panel, he was telling me about, obviously we're going to be building an infrastructure here and that involves dig, digging up ground, installing cables and things like that. So what are your thoughts on using vehicles that are going to make emissions to build an infrastructure that's meant to be green energy? Like, what's your opinion on that? Yeah, that, that's that's really why we've done this. I mean, we've taken our responsibility in the construction industry to come up with and design and develop a product that is specifically made for cities without taking out any or emissions, getting any emissions at all. And it doesn't make sense that we can now invest a lot of money building a charging infrastructure in cities and then we're using diesel machines to build that charging infrastructure when there is an alternative, both from ourselves and from other competitors out there. So we should, we should look at this and and, and also that those charging companies, they can utilize their own green energy to build the infrastructure that they need to build. So everyone is looking at, at, at the process before building the infrastructure and afterwards, but there is also the construction phase in the cities where we can utilize this kind of machines. I have to be honest, Matt, until you had that conversation with me, it wasn't even a consideration for me because I don't work in construction. I don't know a terrible lot about it. So it's really opened my eyes speaking to you about that. And obviously, that's definitely something that needs to be taken into account. So where can somebody purchase one of these if they're interested or any of your electric range? Because I believe you have a range. Where could they purchase one if they're looking to do that? So in every country we have a dealership so that uh, take them to market. And here in the UK we have a dealer called SMT. They are based out of Cambridge, and uh, and and they can be contacted. And, but I, I think you're absolutely right that it's it's about informing that this is a problem, or that be aware of that this is a problem in cities. And there is ten thousands of those working here in London. And 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 if we can change them out, then then that will be a big benefit for the for the for the for the city of London and the inhabitants of, of the city. Definitely. So thank you so much for taking the time to tell us all about what Volvo Construction Equipment are doing. It's really important and it's definitely made me and I'm sure the people watching this think differently about how we're going to do this, not just the end product and what it's going to look like 2030, but also actually installing the infrastructure using green energy. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.